Okay, so, um, so the numerator is just one. The denominator has this n and then this plus one over here. So just to figure out what I should work with, I'm going to rewrite this as n equals one to infinity, one over n times n squared, right? Because the plus one is not really much help for the n. n squared is going to overpower that quite quickly. The square root of n squared is n, so I really just end up having, I can write equals here, n equals one to infinity of one over n squared. So this is a p-series convergent p equals two, which is greater than one. So I find the limit. I have to show that the limit is not equal to zero. And if it equals zero, that means I have not chosen correctly. n, n squared plus one. So I'm going to flip and multiply. So this guy is just going to become the numerator. The limit as n goes to infinity of n, n squared plus one. Sorry, that's a radical. n squared. I multiply top and bottom by one over n squared. So what happens here? I have the limit as n approaches infinity. This is n times one over n times one over n times n squared plus one all over n squared over n squared. So. I took this term here and broke it up into two pieces, right? This thing here is just going to turn to one. This I have to slide in and square it, right? Because that's how you put something back inside of a radical. So I'm just going to rewrite it. So I get n over n. That's this guy here. I slide this one back in. I get n squared over n squared plus one over n squared all over. I'm just going to write that as one. So. This is one, this is one, this is zero, that's one. So I have the limit, I'm gonna write it explicitly. One, square root of one plus zero, oops. I evaluated the limit, so I didn't need to write the limit again. So hopefully you all see, oh, this is just one. Okay, so therefore I know my original series converges by limit comparison